Good afternoon, everybody. It's about 1.20 p.m. And here in Central Texas, um, the temperature today high is supposed to be 82 degrees. Low somewhere around 50s, I think. Yesterday high was 86. It is a beautiful day. I'm just giving you an update on my vegetables garden here. Okay. The weather here is just going to change within a couple of days, but today is a nice day. Okay, in this first bed, I pulled out all the bib lettuce. I decided I don't like bib lettuce anymore. They just bolt too easily. Okay, that's why you see a whole bunch of empty spots. Those were... Um, where the bib were growing but I put more lettuce seed down so hopefully they'll come up pretty soon on the second bed here I have my kales okay these are the scotch right yeah I think they're like the curly leaves kale but these they are Romanesco broccolis. They're the pretty one that I'm hoping that I will get the good result. Thai chili are just hanging in there. The cooler weather have really gotten to them. Okay. And so are the serrano peppers. So I think I'm gonna pull out of serrano peppers. This chard doing great okay you yeah, see on this one the leaves are just fell off yesterday so I don't know okay in this bed we have a combination of sweet shards and kales doing really good I spray some BT on them last night because I have noticed that there's a whole lot more holes in the leaves so I hope that will help and in this bed we have broccoli, Swiss chard, kales, collard greens, mustard green not as much holes in this one okay but I did spray some BT so I'm gonna really keep an eye on them on this bed Swiss chard is just looking so big and healthy okay and that one is some red lettuce transplant that I bought, I guess, a couple of weeks ago, growing slowly. This is also Romanesco. And I dropped down some seed in here. I think I, do I dropped um, kale seeds and endive. Okay, this chard is doing okay. And that one is not doing good. I don't know. I think it's getting ready to bolt. I don't know. Bib lettuce. Oh boy. I'm ready to pull them out. I just don't like bib lettuce. And that romaine that I also bought the transplant. I should have separated them because there are two of them. And I think they're just too tight and they're not growing very good. Okay, and on this one, on Thanksgiving Day, I transplanted the spinach down there. This seems to be, I mean, it takes forever to grow. I don't know why. Okay, in this one, let me move it over. There are all red romaine lattices. I still need to thin them out. So probably we'll do that later today. In this bed, the combination of different varieties of Swiss chard. Pulled out the green beans from there. Okay, so no more green beans. That was done. So all the Swiss chard. This one, we have kale, I think. Three kales, no, five kales in there, and all the seedlings. 
those are all endives. I just hope they would grow a little faster. I really want to eat them. Okay. And in this bag used to be green beans. Pulled those out on Thanksgiving Day. And I dropped a whole bunch of kale seeds down in there. Right now I'm just covering it with the roll cover because I don't want the squirrel to dig everything up. Okay, roses are doing great. So, I think everything are doing okay for today. I need to give them a little bit more water here because it's getting really warm. And um, if you wanna go with me over here real quick, let me zoom this out. And, oh, I got my clothes hanging on the clothesline. Gonna go check out all the containers. Okay. Here, the lemongrass are doing great, I think. Capra lime tree, right there, doing fine. But the Thai basils are just really really cut back on the growth okay so because of the cold weather I think so and here are all the containers that I covered with the um, roll cover to protect them from squirrel digging but let me open up and show you this is cauliflower I bought the transplant it's finally growing some this is Brussels sprouts. I read up that you should not plant them in the container, but I don't have any space to plant them anywhere else, so that's where they're gonna have to live. And let me see, on this one, I have Swiss chard, and by the way, these, um, roll cover you don't have to worry about water or the sun they can still get through cilantro not <laughs> looking good oh I need to trim them up oh there's a moth in here Swiss chard cilantro Swiss chard and those are all the lettuce mix I don't remember what I put in there. This is cilantro. Those are cilantro seedlings. More cilantro. Let me get out here. I haven't planted anything in this one yet. And this is also more lettuce in here. Okay, I need to plant some more seed. I need to get that moth out from there. I don't want them in there. Oops, sorry. Yeah. Let me see. Sorry for all the shaking. There. Okay. Planted some lettuce in here too. But all in all, things are fine. In my experimental area, I pulled out all the green beans. And I'm just going to put a whole bunch of leaves and stuff down here and going to try to develop the ground a little bit more but that's it hope your garden's doing great and I will see you on the next update it's Bella see you later